Hello, hello, Chris Baki here from Games Preview with a quick look at a damsel's tail. Wait, where's the damsel? I don't see her anywhere. Okay, so this is the damsel's tail, and in the story of the game, damsel etiquette will tell you that you can never really trust a knight to save you properly. But as long as your dragon needs feeding, you should let them have a go. This is two players, this is asymmetrical, uh, a strategy game of hide and sneak, not hide and seek, but hide and sneak. And you have a baby dragon trying to alert mama dragon of the presence of a devious knight sent to steal from their ancestral treasure pile. Now, as always, this is my print-and-play version. This is not the final art, the final pieces, whatever. So what you see may vary from what you see here. Uh, but you'll have one piece that's going to be for the knight. It's here in purple. You'll have the, the dragon piece that starts up here in the upper right corner. And then you'll have the baby dragon, which is marked by this panic level here. You've got six cards for the knight, six cards for mama dragon, and then six cards for the baby dragon. Okay, so we've got the two-player setup here. We've got one person playing as the knight, and this is their deck of six cards here. We've got one person playing as the, the baby dragon who will indirectly control Mama Dragon up here. Baby Dragon has their six-card deck, and Mama Dragon has her six-card deck. So I'm playing from this deck, and this deck helps me activate uh, the Mama Dragon here. Of course, if the dragon reaches this final spot here and they don't see a knight, then they're going to go all the way back to the starting point where they'll have to start this whole journey over again. So the knight has a chance to hide on some of the spaces. So I'm looking at the knight's hand right now, and the lowest number in the upper left corner here will go first each turn, basically. So I'm going to choose this card here. This has the number three. And this is going to let me move, move, and then dragon movement, and I'll explain this in a second. The baby dragon player is going to look at their hand of cards, for four cards from their six card deck, and uh, they'll pick this one. They'll pick this one that has a number of eight, and it just says dragon card. So what we do, we'd play these face down, we'd flip them face up, we'd figure out which one has the smaller number, the knight's number is number three, so it will go first, and it says move, move, dragon movement. So starting from the top here, I'm gonna move twice according to the panic level of the baby dragon. He's at one right now, so we're gonna go to one, two, and then dragon movement. What that means is I'm gonna take the top card from the dragon deck, I'm gonna flip it over, and move mama dragon that many spaces. So starting from the circle, we got one, two, okay? Baby dragon's turn. The card says dragon card, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw the top card from the dragon deck. This has one footprint, so I'm going to move one space, and that is that round, basically. So now, as the knight again, I'm going to look at my hand of cards. I'm going to play this one here. That says, it gives me the number one, so I'm guaranteed to go first. This says hidden move dragon backwards one dragon card, or open counter your opponent's card. This is based on where I am on the board right now. I'm on a noisy space. So because I ended my turn on a noisy space, the one that looks like this, uh, basically the dragon's going to be curious what's going on out there. So the dragon is going to move according to the top card in the dragon deck. I draw one card. I see it has three footprints on it, so I'm going to move it one, two, three, ever so closer to the entrance there. So now we start the next turn. As the knight, I'm going to increase panic by one because this is going to help me move faster, I hope. And as the baby dragon, I will choose this card here so that uh, he can move a little faster on here. So again, we put them face down in front of each other and then we flip them over. The lower number goes first. This says move the knight forward one space. Knight moves forward a space. And the, the knight's card says increase panic by one or move. So I can, I can do either one, but honestly I think I'm going to increase the panic by one as of right now. And that's basically the whole game. You're playing your cards, moving back past the dragon. Sometimes this is a two steps forward, one step back sort of thing. Other times you're trying to avoid the dragon because if the dragon gets to the final spot here and sees you on an open space, 
then as a knight you're dead. You're you're caught. So you really want to avoid that fate if you can. And obviously if you're the baby dragon, you're trying to get the attention of the mama to come take a look at this thing. Okay, so that was A Damsel's Tale. Um, I thought it was really cool. I thought there's a lot of interesting things going on here. Uh, I like the two-player asymmetric style where each player is doing something a little bit different. Uh, I like that you're not just moving your own character, you're moving the other player's character so as to help set you up for a victory years later on. I like how the baby knight isn't moving themselves directly, but they're trying to draw attention to the knight uh, by getting the mama dragon involved. It's a cute little play to get some interesting characters involved. You definitely want to have a strategy and you definitely want to be thinking ahead because again, you've only got the four cards and you don't uh, get more until you've used them all. So you might try to just play whatever feels right at the time, but then you're stuck with the last two cards that are harder to use or harder to do something with. All in all, it's a fun little casual game. Uh, they do say 13 and up on their website. I think you might be able to go to 10 and up with that if your kids are really strategic and good about thinking ahead. Um, otherwise, I might keep this to 13 and up. Uh, there's more on the website about the story that I didn't get into during this video. Uh, and if you want more information, obviously go down here, look at the description for more information. This has been Chris Bakke from Games Preview. Thanks a lot for watching.